Hey everybody, welcome back to Home Recording MadeEasy.com and here on my YouTube channel. And this video is gonna be part two um, of where we're taking a look at the new version of Studio One, Studio One version five, specifically 5.0.1 version, their first update, patch update after the main release. Um, and we're gonna take a look at some different plugins to see how it kind of behaves. So um, I'm really creating these videos because of the overwhelming response that I've had from the first video that released. You can check the link in the description box below where I give you my three cents in the title of what I thought of Studio One Five and showed you a couple of little quirks with a couple of third party plugins. Then since then I did a one, and that was the original version before 0.5. Dot o dot one. When dot one came out, I did another video seeing that if that update cured the problem, it really has not. And between those two videos, the comments have been extremely, you know, busy and blowing up, which is fantastic. You guys have all been great telling us and telling me about your experiences, um, asking me to test different types of plugins because I have a lot of them. And so I thought, okay, in response to all those comments, I'm gonna to try to create parts two, three, and four, where um, each part will do a, a different plugin manufacturer, we'll drop them on the tracks, we'll see if Studio One behaves and how it hangs up, um, or if not, so I can try to give you some information uh, to move forward with. So, um, but before we get started with that, I wanna make sure that we cover a couple of ground rules here because some of the comments on the last two videos videos, I would just want to make sure that we're clear of what these videos are really intended for, okay? That's super important to me to make sure that you all understand this. Okay, ground rule number one is this is these videos are not intended to bash PreSonus or to bash Studio One in any way, shape, or form, okay? Um, these videos, if anything, are to help the developers over at PreSonus and to help Studio One uh, developers to help uh, get maybe some of the problems all in the comments kind of all cataloged so the developers maybe can look at them and then they may be able to go, go off and do their own thing to either work with different plugin manufacturers and or inside their own uh, house there to see if there's anything in that they can do in Studio One to make things better, okay? Um, I also highly recommend as part of ground rule number two um, is to put in a support ticket with Studio One. I'll leave the link in the description box below. Go put in a support ticket if you are experiencing any issues. The only way they can fix the problems is if we let them know about them um, in a very um, professional way, you know? Um, uh, being nasty and vulgar and, you know, screaming and hooting and hollering is not the way to get anything done. And I want to make sure we don't do that in our comment section. So far, people have been pretty good. If you're uh, frustrated with it, with Studio One version five for some reason, let us know below. If it's working well for you, and a lot of people, it's working very well, let us know below. We'd like to know those things. However, uh, this is not um, an official PreSonus YouTube channel. So you want to go out to the PreSonus website through the support ticket system and put in a support ticket. I did that myself and they have gotten back to me within a couple of working days and that's pretty quick. I'm sure they're getting blasted with tons of support tickets whenever you release new software. There's always going to be bugs. I don't care what company it is, okay? Look at Universal Audio Luna when it first came out. You saw my video on that, full of bugs. Pro Tools, Do I, need I say more? <laughs> and there's others. So again, um, let's, you know, let's understand that this is a new piece of software. Um, I've never had a problem with any of the versions from version 2.5 to version 4.6. Version five has given me issues. Um, so this happens, okay? So this video is not intended to brash them. This is here to try to help them. And more importantly, it's not even for them. It's really for you guys. You guys are leaving me comments, asking me questions since version five has come out. I'm getting dozens and dozens of emails a week asking me about version five. So I'm here really to help you, okay? So that's what this really is for. So let's make sure we understand what we're trying to do here. We're trying to... Um, express what works, what doesn't work, maybe get that stuff to PreSonus and hopefully they could get it fixed sooner or later or the plugin manufacturers that may have to get some work done so it works well with Studio One Five. Whatever the case might be, that's what these videos are for. I've already told you about number two, put in a support ticket, very important. Ground rule number three, use the uh, PreSonus user forms. 
that's another area where you can go and you can make your problems known or you can see if there's fixes or whatever the case might be. I highly recommend that. Again, I'll leave the, the link in the description box below. Lots of helpful people out in the forums, okay? Especially if you're a PC user and you have PC specific stuff because I'm not a PC user, so I'm limited to what I can help you with there. So use the forums. Um, oh, and also ground rule number four, when you're leaving comments in, below this video, um, do us a favor, whether you're having an issue or whether it's working well, um, let us know if you're on a Mac or PC. Let us know your specs of your computer, you know, and you know, get how much RAM, what version of Windows are you running, what version of Mac are you running, um, you know, what's your processor speed, that kind of thing. That would be helpful as well. So we can maybe try to figure this out. Okay, so those are kind of the ground rules. Let's make sure we keep all that in mind. Um, and let's let's see if I can if we I could try to give you guys some more information. So in this video, we're gonna look um, at uh, three plugins. We're gonna look at waves. FabFilter and Plugin Alliance, because the Waves and FabFilter in particular, a lot of folks in the comments of the last video said that they were having issues. So let me see. So we have an empty session here with no plugins on it whatsoever. Um, we're just gonna turn down the audio here so you can't hear it. Now in the last video, I also had Sonarworks on my master bus, and that's been a known issue as well, Sarno Works. So I've stripped it off the master bus so we could just talk about the plugins that we're gonna look at in this video. So let's start with Waves, and we're not gonna check every Waves, obviously. But I'm gonna drag a few Waves plugins on here just to see. What do we have? Let's do something like uh, Avi Row Plates. That's a high intense CPU hog. So now one of the things that I'm checking for, the first thing that I check for, at least for the problems I was having, is as I drag the plugin window around the screen, does it lag? Now, some people will say that has to do with your computer's video card and GUI and all that. Again, maybe that's all true. I'm just telling you that I didn't have any of these issues with the last version and I have the same exact computer. And again, if you wanna look quickly in case you didn't see the last video, I'm using a 20, late 2017 iMac Pro, a 3.2 gigahertz processor. It's a six core processor with 64 gigs of RAM with an SSD drive in it. Okay, that's what I'm running, just so you know. Okay, so here we are, back to, that looks okay. That seems to be fine. If I play back some, uh, well, I should probably maybe drag that on the drums, not so much the bass. But let's just solo up our drums here. I'm gonna keep the volume of the audio low because that doesn't really matter in this video, just to see how it behaves. The other thing I'm looking at are the, are the, are the meters on the faders, because on certain plugins, they lag behind. This seems to be okay. Okay, let's try it. Let's uh, let's get rid of this one here, or we'll shut it off here. Let's do a couple other Waves plugins that might be that a lot of people use, like some of the CLA, like the LA two way. Let's try dragging that around. Let's see how that works. Yeah, seems okay. No issues. People said they were getting random crashing. Um, hangups with Waves plugins, so I wanna try it. Let's try the Jace 37 tape machine. That's another real high, uh, what did I do? Oh, that might've been me. I clicked, sorry guys. That's my fault, not Studio One. Um, this is a high intense, I think, CPU hog. <laughs> Seems to be okay. Okay, if I put, uh, you know, maybe, uh, let's see, if I put, you know, maybe five or six of those on this, this on this setup. Would that change anything? Let's just see how it loads. That loads perfectly fine. That's just me clicking in the wrong spot. Okay, again, taking a look at the metering, because I notice with certain plugins, when things lag, even the meters lag behind. There's like a latency. These seem okay to me. Okay, let's try a couple of more waves. Uh, maybe, let me see. Oh, let me try a couple of like their SSL or even like their, uh, yeah, like their SSL channel strip. That's a popular one that a lot of people use. Let's see how that seems to work. Loads up perfectly. Let's put a bunch of those on here. Let's see how that works. Okay, nice and snappy. Oh, it's, did it load up? Oh, <laughs> my fault. Okay, let me, here we go. Perfect, very, very snappy. Let me just save this. Okay, here we go. No issues from what I can tell. Okay, so, so far, Waves plugins. Now, if there's a specific Waves plugin you want me to try, I'm not gonna try them all. 
You can certainly, um, let's throw on like the TG12345. That's a ne another very heavy, um, from what I remember, all the Abbey Roads are, um, heavy CPU. Oh, I keep forgetting to highlight all the tracks, Dave. What are you doing? Here we go. Okay, it's loading them all up. Okay. Well, let's go here, let's open one up. Let's take a look at our performance monitor. 21%, okay. Okay, so the Waves plugins seem okay. Again, if there's something specific that you want me to try, let me know and I will try to do that in one of the next, uh, you know, if we have to do a part five, we'll do a part five. If that's what you guys want me to do for you, I will do that. So I have not had any experience just in that quick little test working with Waves. Um, at least a handful of you from the last video in the comments said you had all kinds of crashing and all kinds of problems loading Waves plugins. Now, I'm not working on it in a full mix. This is a quick test, but so far, Waves seems okay on my system. Let's try, um, where's my notes here? Fab filter, that was another one that people, uh, a, a few people complained about. So let's try fab filter. Again, I have a lot of them. So let's try the, again, if it's gonna lag, you can, use, uh, you can usually tell when you are trying to drag the window around. Okay, I could try to put again, you know, 15 of these on here and let's see. That yeah, loads up just fine, looks good. Okay, let's try um, maybe, let's try another one of their plugins. Let's try uh, the multiband compressor. We'll put that on all these tracks. Let's see if that, okay, come on. You gotta go on all of them here. Here we go. Okay. Okay, looks really good. No lagginess, no jittering, no latency from what I can tell. Looks good. We'll try one more. Let's do the uh, Pro G. Uh, we can dump that on a bunch of tracks too. We'll put it here first. No, nope, looks good. So, so far, no problems with Fab Filter. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's a gate. <laughs> That's why, right? It's not Studio One. We're putting a gate plugin on. Okay. So let's just again, let's just see the performance. Seems okay. Okay. So there's Fab Filter. Looks to be okay. So far, no crashing. You can load them up just fine. Um, the last one I want to try is some Plugin Alliance because a lot of you asked me about that and uh, in particular some of their SSL channel strips. So we'll take a look at some of their channel strips. Um, let's start with the focus right. Let's just see how that works. We're going to load 13 of them on all at once. Might take a second. Okay. Beautiful channel strip, by the way. If you don't have it, you should. Resize the window. Okay, no problems here. Let's try the SSL, the G series, or this is the E series, sorry. Um, let's try that. Again, works well. Another fabulous plugin. Uh, let's try a couple of the other ones. Oops, close this preset window. Uh, let's try the 9000J. I think if someone asked me about that one specifically, I'll put that on here for you. And again, I know you have to work with it in a mix and that kind of thing. I get that. This is just seeing if the plugin loads and if it behaves like Trigger does. Nope, this seems to be just fine. Okay, so I'm not having any issues with Plugin Alliance. Okay, so there's three, there's three Plugin Alliance plugins, which seem to be okay, no problems crashing, easy to load up. Um, oh, and the last one I wanted to do was uh, Artura. Right, those are some new plugin reviews that I've got coming out soon. Um, they have some cool preamp plugins. Let's try like their 1073. 
Stay tuned for the video on this. These are, these are fantastic, by the way. These Artura preamps. Okay, again, looks to be okay. Um, I can load in their, um, their other V76, the German one. Another beautiful preamp. But again, all this stuff seems to work the way you would expect it to, okay? So there are uh, four, you got a bonus one this time, there are four plug-in manufacturers um, where um, Studio One version 5.0.1. Okay, I gotta get that right because people get all upset. <laughs> okay, so um, there you go. There are there are Waves Fab Filter plug-in alliance in Artura. They seem to load up for me. Wasn't having the problems I was having with Superior Drummer, Trigger, Sonar Works. And at one time I was having a problem with sound toys, but that seems to be behaving now. You can click the link in the description box um, for the last set of videos if you wanna go see the problems that I'm having with them. Um, so hopefully this is helpful to you. Again, leave comments below and let me know if there's any specific plugins that you want me to test. I may have them or I may not, but if I have them, I will certainly do that. Also, again, let me know um, what you're experiencing, what computer you're using, what operating system you're using. Are you having problems or you're not having problems? Um, and if any other questions or any other tips or any other information that you want to give so we can all help each other navigate our way through this. And then, like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure you go put in a support ticket. Let's help PreSonus, whether it's a Studio One issue, whether it's a plug-in manufacturer's issue, or whether it's a combination of the two. Let's see if we can help them by giving them this information. That's the only way this stuff is going to get fixed. Um, let's not just, uh, you know, run and bail and, and just bail on Studio One and run to another DAW. That's silly because all DAWs have their little quirks. They all do. <laughs> I have them all. I'm telling you. Um, people get very passionate about their DAW, and I think that's great. If you're, a, if you're a Logic user because you don't like Studio One and you love Logic, great, use Logic. You know, if you're a lot of people have left Studio One, not a lot, but some people in the comments said they leave and go into Reaper and they'll never look back. Great, use Reaper. I'm sure they all have their little quirks. Um, but I still believe that Studio One is the most stable up till this point it has been. Um, the most user-friendly, especially for beginners, the most intuitive, and more importantly, more than anything else I feel, is they have a, the best user community, people like you, that are here to help. Their user forums, their Facebook groups, to help work through these kinds of problems, especially for someone who is new. That is something that a lot of DAWs don't have a lot of, like Cubase, like Logic. Those resources are very, very... Um, um, a lot less than what I've seen in the PreSonus community. Um, so again, take that for what it's worth. I hope this is helpful. I don't work for PreSonus. They don't sponsor me in any way. I'm not carrying the water for them as some people have suggested. I'm here trying to give you, my followers, information because you asked me in the last videos. So thank you so much again. Let me know below what your issues are or what experiences you're having with the new version of Studio One. And I will see you in part three coming up soon. Take care, everybody.